Hello, welcome to this Inkscape for Teachers video. In this video I'll be showing you how you can use a master document as a template. It's a little bit different to how you set that up in Word for example, but uh, I'll show you now. Once you're happy with the document that you want to use again and again without having to copy and paste or do a save as, uh, save it to a known location. I'll go File, so I'll show you Save As, you'll normally do Save, and I'm saving mine to a folder called Inkscape Files on the desktop. I'll replace that one. Okay, so once you've done that, if I go and find that uh, folder, and there it is, Worksheet Master. If I copy that, Control C, and then I need to place it or paste it into a particular directory. If I go up a couple of levels uh, under C drive for me and probably for you, but uh, just check that out. Programs, uh, Inkscape, <coughs> excuse me, share, and then there's a templates folder down here. Now the folder that Inkscape normally opens up with is called default.svg. If you want it to always open up with a particular Inkscape file, rename it to default. Might be a good idea to rename the old default to something like default old so you can always retrieve it. But anyway, in this folder I'll just right click and paste and continue if you need to. Don't know why you sometimes have to do that, sometimes not. Typical Windows. And Worksheet Master is now in this list. Okay, if I close that go back to this. Let's say we want a new document file. We can go new from template if we want it based on that worksheet. And there are the list of all the templates I've created. There's the standard one, uh, default. Uh, one of these ones here. Not sure. No, not sure it's listed in there, the default one. But uh, worksheet master, there it is and you can see a little uh, preview of it and you can click uh, create from template and after a bit of a pause it'll open up a new one so you can see down here I've actually got two open now the first one then the second one then you can work on that and save it as an all Inkscape file so I find that quite useful once I've settled on a, a design for perhaps a series of homework sheets something like that hope you enjoyed that and thanks as always for watching